I had mentioned that there was one other thing that I wanted to talk about as far as um, maybe some changes that I would make to the pistol. And honestly, it's not even really a change that I would make to the pistol. I had been ordering some spare magazines. Um, obviously, when you pick up a new gun, you get magazines with it. But I needed some spare magazines as well because, generally speaking, for you know every pistol that I have, every platform, I should say, I like to have at a minimum 10 magazines. Uh, primarily six training magazines and then a spare cache of about five. Uh, four or five, just in case I lose a couple of mags. Um, I just like to have spares on hand. I, I don't really keep parts for the magazines because I tend to just use those six magazines and beat the ever-loving crap out of them. Um, when they fail, depending upon what's going on, I will usually pitch them because all magazines that are made of metal or even plastic like Glock magazines have a finite lifespan as far as the uh, the feed lip dimensions. Eventually they will spread. If you drop them enough, they'll get dented. Trying to kind of bend them back into place is a losing endeavor. It's really not worth it. For simple things like dropping a magazine onto concrete and breaking the follower, I'd pull one of my spare magazines out and start using that um, until I had a spare follower uh, ordered in and uh, you know arrived at my location so that way I could go ahead and replace it. But um, for the most part, I use these as is, beat the crap out of them, and then I just simply pitch them and uh, buy some new ones. So anyway, I noticed that uh, these magazines that I was ordering that were not coming with the gun were coming with PO7 base plates. And I'll go ahead and show you the difference between the two uh, right here. Let's move the gun out of the way and I'll show you the two magazines. So there's a very big difference here. You can see that the base plates that were coming with the PO9 that were designed for the PO9 are much thicker and uh, the PO7 base plates that were designed for the PO7 are much thinner. They had two different design criteria. They wanted a shorter overall gun in the PO7, so they went ahead and did a shorter base plate. Makes sense, no big deal. But uh, there's a couple of things that I don't like. If you take a look here, you really can see the, the thickness difference. The follower and the retaining base plate right down here, um, the retaining pad that, that kind of sticks out and retains the base plate via this little nipple right here, is sitting flush with the bottom of the PO7 plate. With the PO9, you can see just how much thicker the PO9 plate is. I've broken a couple of these PO7 plates, dropping them on concrete, because that's unfortunately where I do my live fire. Uh, my indoor range has a concrete floor. It's not carpeted, uh, it's, it is what it is. But you can see that there's a pretty big thickness difference between the two. Um, the PO9 base plate is a lot thicker, a lot more durable, so if you drop it on a corner, it's less likely to break any of the plastic molding. Now, having said that, these base plates are awesome. They're made out of a very resilient polymer that has some give to it, so they're not prone to cracking, they're not prone to failure, but when you push something hard enough, i.e. drop it on concrete, it will eventually fail. So in my mind, I prefer to have a thicker piece starting out because there's more reinforcement here. There's just simply more material. And this is not a knock against CZ. It's just, it is what it is. So, you know, one thing that I will say is if you guys are interested and you're ordering PO9 magazines separately from say like Greg Coat LLC, uh, they are coming because CZ is shipping them for whatever reason, PO9 magazine bodies with the PO7 bla uh, base plates. I called CZ and they said they weren't even really aware of this. They don't know why they were coming into the country this way, but they have put in a request at CZUB to go ahead and have magazines shipped with the appropriate base plate, and they will also hopefully, as per what they told me, have spare base plates available. So, um, that is something to keep in mind that if you are ordering magazines, when you get the funny looking slim little base plate that doesn't quite match up with the, uh, with the actual gun, or what came with the gun, uh, you know what's going on. So this is hopefully only a temporary thing and it'll be resolved and that'll be that. And what I wanna do is I wanna actually show you how they fit into the gun. The PO9 base plate was designed to follow the contour of the grip and I like this because the more meat that you have down here, the better your weak hand can actually work to control the gun by acting as a, a fulcrum. So I wanna have a, a continuous line at the bottom so when you go ahead and take this out and you put it in the PO7 base plate, really not a big deal. Um, it's mostly just aesthetics, but you can see where the grip terminates. 
these don't quite line up the same way as the, uh, the factory P09 base plate. So, you know, if I could have uh, my cake and eat it too, I would much prefer to have this extended P09 base plate like the gun was designed to accept. So, no function issues at all, just merely aesthetics and, you know, the fact that I said I like to have as much material down here as possible. So, CZ USA will correct that and uh, we'll be on our merry way with the appropriate base pads eventually. Mm-hmm.